Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. Today we're going to go ahead and put a high roller trigger and a Badger Quick Disconnect on a Sotar 2020 Limited Edition. Now, this is a beautiful airbrush I just received the other day. It's my third Sotar 2020. I do have two others. And that's these two right here. And I love this airbrush because I can do very fine detail work with this. I can do very precise weathering, uh, edging, and all that uh, with these airbrushes. And I just absolutely love them. So my other two have the high roller trigger on them already. And this one does not. So I'm going to show you how I, how I change the trigger out. It's a simple process. But let's look at the parts here first. We have the high roller trigger and that is the 50-019HR and that's by Badger. And then, as you know, uh, most of Badger's airbrushes are proprietary and they have their own size as far as hooking up your uh, airbrush to the nozzle and it's a very small uh, hook up there. But this would be 51038. 51038. So that's, you can see how, how small it is here. And beautiful airbrush. As you can see there. Now the process to change out a trigger is pretty simple. And it's very easy actually taking you loosen up your needle and you simply can just pull your needle out first after you pull the needle out then just take your trigger out Put the new trigger in. And it needs to go in. There we go. And I'm holding it down in place. I've got it compressed. Put the needle back in very carefully. And once it's in, we tighten it down. And high roller trigger is installed. Why do I like the high roller trigger so much? It gives me a little more throw and allows me to make fine adjustments to the needle. I just like the control a lot better with the high throw or high input of the high roller lever. Next we put the quick disconnect plug on the airbrush and the Badger one already has a brass seal in there. So it simply just screws on. You want to make sure you don't cross thread it. And it only needs to be finger tight. Hook it up. And you're ready to rock and roll with your airbrush. And there you have it. That was just a quick video on how you put on a high roller trigger on a Badger Sotar 2020 airbrush along with a quick disconnect fitting. 
If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell for all notifications. Happy modeling, everybody, and take care.